The year is 1837 and you are a wealthy landowner in rural England. You've just received a message via telegraph from your friend across the way in London. It took less than an hour for the message to get there, but if you were to send a reply, that message would take nearly three hours to reach London. What gives? Why the delay? This has nothing to do with the telegraph. It's because the wires are being used for something else. As we discussed in our last episode, the telegraph was an incredible invention that allowed people to communicate instantly across vast distances, but the telegraph was only the beginning. In this episode, we're going to explore how invisible wires transformed the world by shrinking it. During the Industrial Revolution, new technologies like the steam engine and the cotton gin were changing the world, and at the center of this change was the telegraph. Invented by American inventor Samuel Morse in 1832, the telegraph allowed messages to be sent over long distances at the speed of light. Using a system of wires strung between cities, Morse code could transmit messages up to 2,000 miles per hour, much faster than any other form of communication at the time. But while the telegraph was revolutionary, it wasn't perfect. See, the telegraph wires were like the veins and arteries of the Industrial Revolution. They carried messages, but they also carried a lot of noise. And that noise was often picked up by other telegraph operators who had to decipher the garbled mess. This problem was especially acute in London, where the wires were strung between buildings and factories. The constant hum of the city made it almost impossible to hear the click of the telegraph key. But there was one place in London where the telegraph wires were strung above the rooftops high above the noise of the city. Here, in the hills above the city, a small group of telegraph operators worked in near silence. They could hear the faint click of the telegraph key over the sound of the wind. These men were the first night telegraph operators in London. They worked the night shift so that the wires would be free from the noise of the city during the day. For the telegraph operators, the quiet of the night was a blessing and a curse. While they could hear the click of the key, they couldn't hear anything else. There was no way to know when the message was coming or how long it would be. They had to sit and listen intently to the wires, waiting for the click that would signal the start of a message. When the click came, they would scramble to write down the message before it ended. In the days before the telegraph, a message from London to Edinburgh would take at least two weeks to arrive. With the telegraph, it took less than an hour. But for these telegraph operators, it might as well have been an eternity. They were the unsung heroes of the Industrial Revolution, working in the shadows, making sure that the wires stayed clear so that the messages could get through. But the telegraph wasn't the only communication technology developed during the Industrial Revolution. Stay tuned next time as we explore the telephone and how it changed the world.